Hello! Okay, so I've done my base and my eyebrows, so I'm ready to just get straight into it. So for today's video, I'm going to be using my Norvina and Subculture palette, and I'm also going to use some of the shades from this custom palette that I made um, a few years ago. So I'm going to start by using this shade called Roxy, and it's a really nice peach matte shade, and I'm just going to place that right above my crease and kind of wink it a little bit. Kind of went overboard with the eyeshadow on this eye, so don't worry, I'm just going to blend it out and it'll be fine. And now I'm going to use this shade called Love and it's a nice pink shade from my Norvina palette, which is absolutely battered, don't mind the palette at all. By the way, I'm making this up again as I go along, so, so far so good. I don't know why I do it guys, I should really plan stuff and actually practice before I film it but so far so good, I kind of like how it turned out last time so hopefully I'll get the same results for this video. Okay, so now I'm going to use the purple shades from this custom palette that I've got and I'm going to be using this Sigma brush. I can't remember exactly which brush it was, but I'm going to link everything in the description box, so don't worry. So as you can see, I'm just focusing on the outer corner of my eye and I'm creating like a V-shape to create like a smoky cat eye look kind of thing. And then I'm just going to place the product right into the crease. Then I'm gonna intensify the outer corner with this shade over here and I'm gonna use this Sigma brush that's quite dense. I'm gonna link it down below again. And it's a shimmer eyeshadow, which is normally not what I would use for my outer corner, but we're being a rebel today, apparently. I'm patting the product in first before I go ahead and blend it out. I really just want to deposit as much product as possible before I blend it out and I really want to focus on the crease with this shade. To say I'm making this up right now, I'm actually really liking the colour story from that peach to the pink and now the purple and this deep plum. I'm actually really liking it. So now I'm going to use this shimmer lilac shade and I'm going to place that right in the middle of my lids and I'm just going to use my fingers to do that. I find that sometimes using your finger is much better than using a brush. Going back to my scruffy looking Norvina palette, I'm going to use that pink shimmer shade and I'm going to place that in the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm just going to blend it in with that lilac colour in the middle. Now it's actually turning out to be like an ombre eyeshadow look which I don't mind I actually really like it so now I'm just going to go back to that deep plum shade to darken my outer corner Okay, so now it's time for the winged eyeliner. I actually did plan to do a winged eyeliner for this look. And to be honest, I wanted to do like a dramatic winged eyeliner, but every time I want to do that, I get scared and I bottle it. So I end up just doing a normal size of winged eyeliner, which is what I'm doing now. And also, as you can see, I should have just wiped my brush or something before I used it because it's a little bit clumpy, but I'm just going to have to get on with it now. I always start with filling in the outer corner first and then I end up connecting my inner corner to the rest of the eyeliner that I've just done. And now that it's done, I'm just going to pop some eyelashes, which I'm going to do off camera and voila. Now I'm ready to do the bottom lash line. So I'm just going to go ahead with that Roxy shade and I'm just going to place that all over my lash line.
And now I'm going to put the purple matte shades on the bottom lash line as well. But this time I'm only going to do it halfway. Okay, so now I'm just going to contour real quick with my KVD Shade and Light palette, my favourite contouring palette. Okay, so now I'm going to use this really pink blush shade and I'm going to place that right on top of the apples of my cheeks. And I'm actually going to really intensify this colour because I kind of want it to blend in with a purple. So you'll see, you'll just, just wait and see. Okay, so now for the fun part, I'm going to use this Fenty Matte Lipstick in Violet Fury and I'm going to place it right on top of my nose. That's it. Okay, I'm joking. So I'm actually going to place that all over my nose and I'm trying to recreate, I don't know if you guys um, can remember, but she was turning into a blueberry in a film and her nose starts going purple. So that's basically what I'm trying to achieve here. I'm gonna go back to that custom palette and I'm gonna use the matte purple shades to blend it out a bit. And I'm gonna use the darker one first to kind of make it look like it's sore, if you know what I mean. And I'm gonna use that to also contour the side of my nose as well. This part of the makeup look actually took me the longest because you kind of just have to keep blending until you achieve the look that you're going for. Because you don't want it to look like one dimensional, you want it to look like it's spreading out on your face. So I kind of have to just blend it out all over my cheeks, on the bottom of my nose and kind of like near my eyebrows. Now I'm going to use the lighter purple shade to blend it out and I'm actually going to put it over the dark shades as well and also I'm going to set the liquid lipstick, actually no it's not a liquid lipstick, just the lipstick, I'm going to set the lipstick with that shade also. I'm just literally going to blend until it starts to look like it's spreading all over my face. So don't worry if it's taking too long. It's supposed to look that way and just apply more products if you need to. I'm getting there. I'm starting to look like I'm turning into a blueberry. So now I'm going to use the same purple Fenty lipstick all over my lips and I didn't have a lip liner to go with it. So luckily this lipstick is actually good enough to put on its own without a lip liner. So yeah. I'm just going to put that lilac shimmer shade in the middle of my lips and then the look is done. I'm going to go grab my wig, I'm going to put it on and I'll see you guys in a minute. I really enjoyed creating this look and I hope you guys can recreate it at home. Make sure you click like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Toodles!